Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. Today, I'm going to show you the PMP Revenge. Well, they've done it again. PMP Knives made by Max Ace Knives, and this is called The Revenge, as opposed to The Beast. Remember The Beast? Like 500, uh, 500 inches wide and not, that, not necessarily that long, but it's a big, thick daddy. This one's got uh, thumb studs on it, and this one doesn't. Go figure, huh? So, yeah. And I have one of each because I love the beast. But one viewer made a quite a interesting remark saying it is nothing but a table weight. Obviously, a desk paperweight, whatever, because it's so big. You just can't really practical, in a practical sense, you can't carry this. Well, yes. He's right. In a practical sense, you can't carry this. Actually, I carried it once because I just wanted to prove myself I could, and I did. And uh, you know, just tighten your belt a notch. It's so good. But here's the revenge. This is much thinner. <laughs> Obviously, right? And so this is a what we call a normal knife. Although, I don't know how normal I would say it is because... It's still a pretty good size knife. Almost four inches and, you know, about almost three and three quarter, just cutting edge. Total, not nine inches though. Eight and three quarter on a good day. And, oh, 22 and a half centimeters. So, yeah, I mean, maybe you could say a hundred, hundred millimeters on the blade so it's still a good size knife but not huge that's for sure any case this is a whole different bag of tricks here it's called the revenge it is m390 steel these were d2 this is multi-row ceramic bearings this had bronze washers big difference okay this comes in blue bronze or regular silver so and the actions really nice really nice milled pocket clip backspacers titanium as well be kind of nice to do them in bronze as a you know as a contrast in any case this hardware is really nice machined hardware I took this thing apart and put it back together. I'll tell you what, it was like a Swiss watch. Well, God, I shouldn't have said that. Patrick actually does live in Switzerland. So, yeah. When I first got it, it was a little too much guillotine. But now it's just right. I tightened it up just a little bit after I put it back together. And it started backing out on me. The pivot screw a little bit. So I put some thread locker on it. So, there's one thing for sure. This is a lot like the Wii Eschaton and the Wii Zeta in the way that the fact is that the detent is not very strong on this. And, of course, the cutout in the blade makes this so easy to open with your thumb or your middle finger so you can flick it open. But if you're going to do that, you can't have a super strong detent. Okay, so interesting in that regard, uh, but it's a good size knife, and I like that kind of, uh, ooh, I don't know if you want to call it a modified tanto, sheep's foot kind of thing, but got the blade cutouts, the pocket clip, which obviously is a right hand tip up only, and this Anno um, I've been handling it, and so it, it's, it's losing its gusto, which you have to throw some Windex glass cleaner or just soap and water to get the oils off so it'll 
clean up. But in any case, I've been handling it. That's nice. Whew. I don't think this thing's very thick. Hold on. Let me look. I think he was trying to make up for the beast. He thinned this one out. 12.3.485. So about the same thickness as the paramilitary two. Come on, baby. Drop you. See, this is 0.45. So this ain't much different in that respect. Now, well, let's kind of do a size comparison here. Here's your X. This is as big as he's going to look in comparison right there. And flip it this way. He's going to not look as big now. So, yeah. Bigger knife. The handle's pretty similar in height between the two. But the blade is definitely a taller blade. At least mostly. You know what I'm saying? M390, multi-row bearings. Oh, hold on. Uh, of course, it's made by Max Ace. I just got uh, a knife made by Max Ace tested for M390. It was an M390. It was the Elite, uh, the Erosu Elite made by Max Ace. And it tested true to M390. I can't remember the HRC. You'll have to watch my upcoming video on that that batch of knife testing but it did test as real m390 so obviously this being made by max ace and i could send this i might send this in just to find out the hrc as well so that might be interesting on an upcoming video send this out in any case the revenge comes with this pouch and of course it has you know a plastic sleeve inside here and then this box which is not overwhelming it's just a regular box here you go carlo massa is the uh designer and you know he did the beast as well so oh i was gonna show you well i'll show you a picture of you know the color choices here you can get the black coated or you can get the blue like i have or the bronze or the regular silver uh, and this is my disassembly picture here. So these are the multi-row ceramic bearings. Um, whatever the lubricant that they were using is, is very thick, you know. And so I purged that off of here and cleaned everything up and put a lighter lube in there when I put it back together. But, I mean, there was nothing really wrong with the way it was. It's just my own personal preference. Over travel stop. <clears throat> hardened steel insert with a ceramic detent ball. Nothing terribly complicated. But these things are all, yeah, they're all eight, number eight torques along here. And they just unscrewed like nothing. I mean, just real real easy there was no thread locker on any of those it was wow that was really nice i was impressed look at you got two of those screws holding your insert in on the inside of course they didn't do any specific weight relieving on this i don't think they really needed to although it's not a lightweight knife but it's not a small knife either it's just fun to watch this wow that is just that's nice. 6.49. So it's not, I mean, you know, let's put the beast on here. 14 ounces. Okay, so, but 6.49 still, okay. Yeah, it's it's not super light. Uh, 184 grams. So mm, maybe an ounce heavier than a lot of knives I I carry and I saw a comment the other day from a, a viewer going I just don't like carrying anything over five ounces um something this big I, you know I don't have a problem with that six six point four six point five ounces 
It doesn't really bother me. It's nice and slender. It disappears in the pocket. And this pocket clip works really well. So I didn't have a problem with that either. It's just so damn good looking. Look at this design. I mean, it flows. You're not seeing the back of the blade here. This disappears into here. It goes around. Um, you could argue about the backspacer if you wanted to, saying maybe just leave it flush. Maybe put the, you know, put a lanyard hole somewhere along here through the scale as opposed to raising this piece for the lanyard hole. Or forget about the lanyard hole. I don't know that you need one necessarily on a knife like this. So, yeah, I mean, that was the only thing that kind of jumped up at me was, do you need the backspacer to come up here and do that f for nothing more than just a lanyard or not? And I, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted about that situation. But as far as how nice the action is, how easy it came apart, went back together really nicely. I mean, it feels really good in the hand and you got this choil up front for sharpening. M390 blade. And let's try and see if that'll do anything. Well, okay. Yeah. Not too shabby. So it's, it's pretty sharp out of the box. Yeah, I like the overall design. I really like the look of it when I saw it on his Instagram. I'll give you the link to his Instagram, like I said. And White Mountain Knives. Yeah, buy it from there. And I know. But, you know, you get a 10% discount on all knives. You know, the LTK discount code. So that's 10% off. Yeah, I like it. I really do. Man, that's nice. That's smooth. There really is. So it just depends. I know this is a fairly unknown brand, uh, but I really like what they're doing. I saw a fixed blade on their Instagram that they're looking at making. You know, I like the beast. I like the Revenge. Uh, that fixed blade looks interesting, so I think they're doing good designs. It's just a matter of time. You know, little by little. They're not like Wee Knives. They're not throwing out 20 new designs every six months or anything. It's just little by little. But it looks like it's a numbered knife. And so I, I don't think they made many of these. Uh, so if it's appealing to you and it's not, you know, like a lot of Riot knives where they're like $350, $375, it's a hundred dollars cheaper than that in any case. So whew, that's solid. That's solid. I like it. I really do. It's slender enough yet it's big, but I, you know, I like bigger knives and if you're not a a bigger knife kind of guy then no but I'll tell you what that flipper tab is not obtuse okay there's some knives with a flipper tab maybe just a little bit pushing it you know what I mean getting it way up there I hate to bring this out on that but as an example you know what I mean kind of let the lines flow and don't have the flipper tab be up here like an antenna and, you know, if you want a really stiff detent, this is not your knife. Or at least this particular knife is not your knife. Uh, but it just makes it so easy to finger flick. You know, how easy is this going to come out if you're active running around? Not that way, but still, that is another opening method. Just like that. Yeah, and your contact patch is not too bad either, is it? I mean, not as bad as a lot of flippers, which are, you know, like that. So that's pretty decent. Nice belly there. No recurve. Only a few of these. Probably, what, 350 of them got made? I'm guessing. So, 
think White Mountain got like a hundred of them. So there you go. Check it out online. I like the finish, the tumbled finish on the blade. I'm glad they did that. I don't think I'd want satin on this. I don't know. I just see this as a carry knife, user knife, even though it's not inexpensive. But I don't think this is an elegant knife. I mean, I don't see this as elegant. This is, you know, six and a half ounces of its, you know, its brother is called the Beast. So, uh, Revenge. Yeah, this is more. That yeah, feels good. Reverse grip. The ergos are really good too. They didn't do a bunch of really humpity hump, you know, finger choils in there. So they, your fingers can kind of find their own place there. Yeah, not bad. And I'll leave you to it. The Revenge. From PMP Knives. I like it. I really do. I like the design. Uh, this designer here, this Italian designer, Carlo Maria Massa, uh, I think he's doing a great job. God only knows what he's going to come up with next. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Remember, White Mountain Knives, not only for this knife, the Revenge, but any knife on their site, LTK code 10% off. Because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.